Good evening. Thank you for joining us. First on News 2 at 6 o'clock as summer wraps up, Baton Rouge is once again on pace to break its homicide record. This comes following an active week of shootings. Bess Casterly in the WBRZ investigative unit breaking down that data. Well, Michael, Sylvia, our records show three deaths, including a 14-year-old and at least five injuries in just the last week. We did see a spike in shootings around the early part of the year. If I'm not mistaken, it was March. The first three months of 2024 were the deadliest in Baton Rouge in 25 years, and it unfortunately doesn't seem to be slowing. Since last Wednesday, there have been six shootings. The first on Quivera Street, where 19-year-old Malik Mills was killed. Then on Thursday, 14-year-old Travis Washington was shot multiple times and found dead on Dayton Street. Two non-fatal shootings on Saturday, one on Clayton Street, where police arrested 21-year-old Aaron Brown and the other on East Howell. On Sunday, a man and a woman were shot outside a grocery store and the man, Kimon Brooks, died. And just yesterday, two separate but related drive-by shootings on North Foster and Airline Highway caused several wrecks and injured two. The data provided by Baton Rouge Police shows a nearly 20% increase in homicides from this time last year. During our commander's meetings, we look at those statistics and we compare those numbers to where we were this year, um, this time last year, to where we are at this time last year. Though the data set is supposed to be updated every Monday, these numbers have not and don't include the fatal shooting of Kimon Brooks, which would make the total of homicides this year 62 a 21% increase from last year. This year so far, the police department has seized 819 guns, which is down about 16% from last year. In the newsroom, Bess Casserly, WBRZ News 2.